Hello, I'm Ovis, and today I'm going to be building a new build that is hopefully going to be just as fun as that was to say. So this build's a bit harder to explain. It's going to involve a lot of swinging and a bit of sliding and, yeah, mainly swinging and sliding. But I've put down some groundwork, so this is going to be the staircase upwards. Hopefully soon I'll get some portals so you can get up to the rides easy. But you're going to go over this pathway because I want to be able to use the pathway to go over to this side of the base. And then it's going to go all the way down here till wherever we decide that and then you're going to come all the way back and end the course around here so you're quite close to the entrance so you can start again but it's going to be a bit of a tall build not quite as tall as that but you're going to start up the top go slightly down and across and then go slightly down across again and you'll eventually land on a slide which will take you here if you complete it if you don't complete it you'll be well you'll fall and you'll drop off around this area onto a ice path which will take you to the side and that will indicate that you have failed so let's get started I'm gonna make the ramp all the way up to the top then I'll meet you up there okay we're at the top now and basically the first thing I want to do is or well, here's a little view around the base looks nice and pretty and tall um, the first thing I want to do is add a cool little starting kind of contraption that I thought of and it takes ice doors and a chisel and I'm going to magic that in front of you now and show you what it's about. And here we have it. This is a what I'm going to call an ice door starting thing. Probably not, but that's just how you do it. So basically what you're going to do is there's going to be a block out here, which means you're going to fire your grapple onto that, walk into the starting area, so you, you kind of get aligned, and then all you've got to do is, whilst your grapple is still attached, press E, and that was close, and then that's how you start the swing. So everyone gets a kind of the same kind of swing, you can't take a running jump at it, you know, just so it makes it easier for me to kind of make a course that everyone can use. And I'm also going to design all my courses around the use of a copper grapple. Um, you can obviously use your own grapples, but I think a copper grapple is easily accessible for everyone. You don't have to worry about the durability. I'm going to sell them in my shop, which I'm going to put over there. I've already put the kind of spacing out for it. And they're going to be really cheap, um, just so it's fun for everyone. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first and second beams are in place. Uh, these beams are red because the trees around me are these red twisted timbers, and I've refined these blocks just to give them a little bit of extra something, I don't know. Um, but the lustrous wood is also a dark mustard colour, which is the exact same colour as the trees around me. So everything I use in these builds are very easy to collect, apart from the ice and the gleam, um, and the gravel and grass are from all around the world, just to give it a bit more variant. But, so yeah, let's give it a try. We're going to, um, we're going to grapple on the first one, let go of our grapple, and then go to the second one, and then hopefully land on that rock where I've placed, and that's going to be where the ice ramp is going to go, the first ice ramp. So let's give it a go. So you get in the starting position, you grapple and reel in, you click E, you swing, you let go, you grab, you swing, and then that is where you need to get to. So I think that was good. I think we might have to bring it across, sorry, bring it back one block, possibly, or that might make it too easy. So I'm going to put in an ice ramp just there, just so we can test it out. Oh, and just a little side note to add in, um, I'm not a big fan of kind of bold colours and builds, but the reason I was okay with it being red is because if you've ever played the game Mirror's Edge, I used to play that a lot, uh, anything that's red in that game basically means that you can climb it, you can jump it, you can swing it, whatever. So I thought this has the kind of the same theme, so I was okay with that. Okay, test two with the ice path. Let's give it a go. Oh, nearly. So close. Test three. Okay, I died, which you saw, but what you didn't see was me dying four more times due to falling off this. I fell off this bit here, right here, and because my health was so low and I didn't realise, I died again. So I put on a little rail. Same rail as we got on the big one, but yeah, it just took a little bit of time. But okay, 
Let me on top. Right, now that's a lot easier. We're going to try it again. And hopefully don't die this time. So we're going to hold that, hold that, press that. Grab that. Oh, I missed it again. Woo! Okay, so I've done a few tests by myself. And I've come across something that I didn't think was possible. If you hold forward whilst you're also reeling in and grappling, you tend to go a bit further. So, like this for example. And you can nearly make the whole jump to the actual ice. So I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get rid of this block. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this block here, the um, beam, and maybe move the ice ramp higher, and that way we can get more course underneath it. So I'm going to do that, and I'll meet back up at the top again. Okay, so we're up here again, and... Ooh, hello. Can you reach them with a grapple? Probably, but not my one. Anyway, um, yeah, I've moved the ice ramp. It's now higher up and closer toward me. And the reason he's there is because I haven't beaconed this area yet. I'm going to do that when I've finalised everything. Um, yeah, so I've moved the ice ramp, and now we've got to work out what to do after the ice ramp. So let's see how far up this block we can grab. Grapple. Or grab, for sure. Okay, so we easily, easily hit that top one. So my idea is you jump, you grapple swing, you slide, you jump off the end of the um, ice, you go a bit, you travel a bit, and you then grapple a second time, and you come on a ramp and come back this way. So that is way too close. I'm gonna go this way five blocks, and also go higher, about another five blocks. So I'll sort that out, put in a red beam, and I'll meet you at the top for yet another test. Yeah, um, I want to say he died naturally, so I will. He died naturally. It wasn't me. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's... Oh, no. My God. Oh, no. This is... Up. I know it's not real, it's just the game, but this feels so cruel. I'm going to run up the top see what happens. Alright, just let's go. And disappears. <gasps> okay, enough of that. Push. Swing. Jump. Miss. Nearly die. Swing. Jump. Forget to grapple in time. Okay, if I miss now, I'm probably going to die. Swing. Jump, jump, die. Oh, God, I actually did die. Okay, I'm back up here again, and so is he, apparently. But I'm um, back up here, let's try again, and let's try and not die. Okay, I didn't actually mean to get up here, but I suppose this is quite high. So I'm going to go for... I'm going to move this ice, so basically you're going to hit the ice wall, fall down onto an ice ramp and then start shooting off the other way. Um, but as we can get up to here, I'm going to put the ice wall back to this block, which will then bring, checking for the boundaries, um, <clears throat> which will then bring this wall back to there. Okay, so we've got our ice wall now. Okay, I'm going to um, set all this up and set up the ice ramp, the second ice ramp. And then I shall be back for another run. Okay, this is the sixth time I'm recording this. I'm going to take you through it. Because what I've done is I've changed the ice wall to from a kicker to a flat piece of ice. We should then have to jump over to another pack of ice. We should then have to jump off of that immediately and swing on this blue beam. Which I might have to move depending on how we go. And then you're going to land in the final ice ramp which I'm yet to put down. So let's take you through the course. Grapple, open the doors, swing, land the ramp, jump, grapple, hit the wall, and then you jump onto this block, which is really hard. But I might have to move that back, you know, forward, up, down, away, whatever. Um, so you jump from that to this, so immediately off. I'm going to make it one or two blocks, maybe one, um, and then grapple onto this beam, which will then take you into the 
last ice ramp which will then end the course oh my god that was a lot of retakes and I'm not even gonna try and do it um, I'm gonna get all that done and then I'm gonna come back and basically show you the end product because it's getting late okay see you in a bit okay so now it's the next morning and I am feeling fresh so this is the course I've basically gone through it and kind of polished off the edges I've put in wooden barriers on the sides I put in the um, underneath and the tops on the ramps and stuff like that so I'm gonna take you through it one last time hopefully because I've been practicing this quite a lot hopefully I can do it first time and then I can finalize it with all the beams and decorative stuff and then we can really have a play on it so let's give it a go Boom! Oh my god, that was cool. And that was really, really fun. As you can see, I've shortened this ice block to one block wide, which makes it slightly harder, but as I lowered it, it's a bit more durable. That makes completely no sense. And also, I've added this beam in here, which basically means if you mess up this ice bar and you kind of just fall off the edge, you can't then just grapple because you'll get caught by this beam. So to make this jump, you have to get quite a... You know, quite a good jump in there from the actual ice block to be able to clear it and into this ramp. This ramp, I kind of made it a bit longer, you know, down, across and down again. But that is basically what I've done. So that's made me really happy. And I'm going to add on, add on. I'm going to add in these support beams and some lights. And I'm going to come back and give you a little cinematic to finalise the video. And it's complete. I've put in all the support beams, added the gleam lighting to make it look extra special at night. I've tried and tested this to death. It is super fun and not too easy, which is 100% what I was going for. So all that's left to do now is to put together an awesome looking trailer. It's quite a lot of turns and sudden camera movements, so I'll do my best. If you have enjoyed this episode, or even if you just skipped to the end to see the finished product, a like or comment or subscription would be highly appreciated. And I know, I know, I don't like asking for it, but I've worked really hard and I deserve love. Lots of love. Well, some love. Okay, maybe just a strong like. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the cinematic. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall catch you in the comments.